never again. I thought it was a statement of fact. The Holocaust was so big, so horrible, that we would never, ever create the conditions for it happening again. It's rubbish. It's happening again. What does never again mean? I mean, it's happened again and again and again. The militia would pick out the women to rape. Physical torture from beating up, from burning. Genocide begins long before the first shot is fired, the first killing takes place. It's a war of information, propaganda. These are foreigners, they're different, they shouldn't be your friends. It's okay because they're not really fully human anyway. This is how the colonizers and settlers treated us. Be a part of this new community or die. They took my children away from me. They tortured me. The attempt to destroy an entire people through suppressing its ability to reproduce, if you tick that box, you are committing genocide. There are over a million and a half Uyghurs that are being held in forced labor camps. Many of the products that we're importing here to the United States are being made with slave labor. I couldn't get one US-based company to even say that they're concerned. And the reason why is because they're making a lot of money. At the end of the day, profit is a higher priority than human life. Are we who we say we are? When human rights violations go unchallenged, it is a lesson that authoritarians everywhere take to heart. If your perpetrator is not brought to justice, how can you ever feel safe? To think of never again as an unattainable goal is the wrong way to look at it. And it's a vow. The vow is to fight. Who's going to draw the line on the sand and say, no, this has to stop?